Hello all, here is a question from analog circuits um, which is asked in the previous uh, gate. So the question is basically we have an ideal op amp where V reference is fixed which C is the V reference which is provided to the non-inverting non terminal is fixed uh, and uh, <clears throat> what it says is when V in is equal to 0 0.1 volt, that means when this is 0 0.1 volt, okay, uh, it says output is 1 volt. And when this is uh, uh, 1 volt, the output is 6 volts as expected, right? Because there will be gain associated with this op amp. Mm, so where, where V out is measured across RL, definitely because output will be measured across the load resistance. So what is asked is basically the ratio between RF and RN which is basically the input resistor and the feedback resistor. So <clears throat> if you see this uh, operational amplifier straight away, uh, there are both inverting as well as non-inverting configurations involved. So we know that, uh, uh, so if we just draw an op amp, okay. This will be Okay, this is output, this is RF, this is R1, and this is uh, V in. So this, this configuration is called uh, uh, inverting. And then the, the one more configuration is basically there's a feedback resistor, RF, R1, and then we provide V in here, which is a non-inverting configuration. So this op amp has both the configurations. So that means the output will be, okay, sum of uh, the input at the in, uh, with the inverting configuration and then uh, uh, the output with the uh, non-inverting configuration. That means V out is equal to V out one plus V out two, okay? So, let us first see uh, a non-inverting configuration. So when we see this non-inverting configuration, we see that uh, this will be grounded, right? So uh, when uh, this is grounded, RF uh, will be feedback, R, RN will be grounded. And then we have to know the voltage that is going to the non-inverting terminal. So non-inverting terminal, if we assume this as V plus, V plus is nothing but the voltage divided between R1 and R2. That means Vf V plus is equal to Rf into R2 by R1 plus R2, right? So that, that is the voltage that is at this node, which is similar to the non-inverting configuration we have drawn here. And then if you take the gain of this, which gives, let us assume we say the, it as V out 1. So V out one is equal to V in. V in is nothing but V ref into, because this is V in in non inverting configuration, right? So this is V plus. Uh, so V into R2 by R1 plus R2 into one plus RF by R1, okay? This is for, non-inverting configuration. When you take inverting configuration, okay, so that means uh, uh, this this terminal would be treated as grounded and uh, V in uh, shall be considered, right? So uh, we uh, in this scenario, for a non-inverting configuration, when you take V out to uh, inverting configuration, so the, this gain, we know that it is minus RF by R1, right? Minus rf by r1 into v in okay so this is how uh, the v out 1 and v out 2 will turn out to be for this particular configuration so as we said the total output of this op amp is given by v out 1 plus v out 2 that means uh, sum of uh, the output in inverting configuration plus sum of the output plus uh, um, output in non-inverting configuration which implies so 
v out is equal to so v out one is nothing but this v ref into r2 by r1 plus r2 into 1 plus rf by r1 right um, v out 2 is nothing but minus rf by r1 into rn minus rf by r1 into v in okay so considering these scenarios uh, we know that <coughs> Uh, v out uh, we know that v out is 1 volt for uh, minus 1 minus 1 uh, 0.1 volt input and 6 volt for 1 volt input right so that means when v out is equal to 1 which gives v ref into r2 by r1 plus r2 into 1 plus rf by r1 okay minus rf by r1 into so when v out is uh, 1 volt v in is 0 0.1 into 0 0.1 similarly when v out is 6 volts 6 volts here 6 volts this gives v ref into r2 by r1 plus r2 okay into 1 plus rf by r1 okay minus rf by r1 into 1 volt okay so now uh, this is uh, uh, so, so uh, solving these two when you do 1 minus 2 so 1 minus 6 on the lhs okay and uh, as these both are same it gets cancelled uh, and uh, it will be minus rf by r1 into 0.1 minus 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 uh, and when we are doing subtraction this will become plus plus rf by r1 into 1 is nothing but rf by r1 right so 1 minus 6 is minus 5 and when you take rf by r1 as common this will be 1 minus 0 0.1 which is which will be point nine okay so that means rf by r1 rf by r1 is uh, so this is minus 0 0.9 uh, that means 5 by 0 0.9 which will give 9 by 50 which is nothing but 5.5 ohms so this is r1 so now uh, rf by rn so the ratio of rf by rn uh, here instead of R, rn we consider it as r1 simply so rf by rn is nothing but 5.5 ohms so this is how we have to solve this problem so two tips to consider is when both non-inverting and inverting configuration are given so the output of the op-amp would be calculated individually for inverting configuration and non-inverting configuration and then Mm, uh, the output will be summation of these two right uh, and uh, if you solve for the equation of uh, <coughs> our, uh, our v out um, considering that both are added um, so we get rf by rn um, so hope uh, this is useful to you please let us know if you have any questions please post your comments please uh, uh, subscribe and like our channel thank you